New at four, the head of the CDC, Dr. Rochelle Walensky, says in the waning days of the pa pandemic, it is a good After time for her to step down. Pandemic, she she sent a resigna resignation letter to President Biden and announced the decision at a CDC staff meeting earlier today. Her last day is June 30th. Walensky's news comes on the very day that the World Health Organization announced it is ending the emergency it declared for COVID-19 nearly three years ago. Next week, the public health emergency declaration will end in the U.S. CBS News's Michael George spoke with CDC doctors about what this means and our future fight against COVID. It's a turning point in the three-year fight against COVID. On May 11th, the nation's COVID-19 public health emergency will officially expire. But CDC Deputy Director Dr. Nirav D. Shah says that doesn't mean COVID is gone. Does this at all change how the American public should treat COVID? COVID-19 remains a risk, even though the public health emergency is coming to a close especially for Americans who are immune compromised. What the end of the public health emergency means is a shift in how the government fights COVID. Free tests won't be as readily available, and the CDC will no longer collect state and local data on COVID cases. Dr. Shaw, why now? Why is the public health emergency being ended? There are a few reasons. The first is that the nature of COVID-19 is different now than it was one, two, or three years ago. Because of the work of getting vaccinated, getting tests available, and getting therapies, it's not the acute emergency that it was before. That's a good thing, even though it remains a risk. But the CDC says it will continue to track the disease using data from labs, hospitals, and emergency departments. And doctors believe by testing wastewater, they can detect future COVID outbreaks quickly. Michael George, CBS News, New York.